Musculoskeletal applications for regenerative medicine has really come to the fore, I would say, in the last few years. Uh, made very popular by professional athletes who are flying to Europe to get PRP injections to get them to return to play faster. Uh, they are very motivated, obviously, to accelerate the healing process because their livelihood depends on it, and uh, their fans do too. It is obtained from whole blood, just a simple blood draw, and concentrated using a special centrifuge device in order to isolate the component in blood that is rich in the platelets. And that's why it's referred to as platelet-rich plasma. Uh, it separates it from the platelet-poor plasma and the red blood cells, uh, which do not have the same properties as the platelets. So the platelets release growth factors, cytokines, and other proteins, which help accelerate the healing cascade. Uh, what we do is concentrate them and inject them into the joint or the tendon uh, to facilitate healing. Anybody with an injured or degenerated joint or tendon, and this can be in the appendicular joints, which is in the arms and legs, it can be in the spine, facet joints, SI joints, or even the discs, and then multiple tendons and ligaments that can be injured uh, or degenerated uh, can benefit from uh, the regenerative medicine procedures. Now, if a joint is too degenerated and joint replacement in those cases may be the only option. So this is certainly not a panacea for all ills. It's not a magic bullet, but it does provide another option for a joint that is not severely degenerated, but symptomatic. And it may be four to eight weeks before the patient actually feels a benefit. And for months after that, the healing will continue. So it's a much more gradual process. Certainly is not instant gratification, but instead of just mitigating the pain and inflammation, as you would with a steroid, what we're actually doing is getting at the source of the pain. A female patient who had severe knee pain and a recurrent popliteal cyst in the back of her knee, she would get temporary relief from the injection of steroid and local anesthetic. Uh, but within several days, especially if she's tried to exercise, she would experience recurrence of the pain and recurrence of the cyst. Uh, she is 10 weeks out from a PRP injection in that same knee and has not had recurrence of the cyst or her pain and is exercising six days a week. So this is where I get excited that we can provide not only symptom relief, but also an option to help restore function of the joint. So I've seen it work. <laughs>